Hi, you guys. Welcome to June Oween. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is hosted by Annie from Indiana Jones. Um, and I'm so excited to be in this. I can't thank her enough. I love Halloween. It's probably one of my absolute favorite, favorite um, holidays. So um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, we are already right into my DIYs. Um, and I got this piece here at um, Michael's. I shared it on my channel not too long ago. It was two of them in a pack for um, $3, which I couldn't believe that. It was like some really good sale that was going on. And I wanted to make like a Halloween scene. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make like a, um, like a night background. Now, I'm not a painter or an artist, but um, that's what I, I was attempting to make it look very, um, you know, uh, deep, you know, um, just like the night, you know, the, the view of what it, the scene would look like at night, you know, where you could still see a little bit of everything, but not quite, um, you know, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I was trying to make, you know, the night sky. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, so I have all of these um, stickers from Dollar Tree. These stickers are some of my favorite at Halloween. I absolutely love them. I don't know why I love them so much, but they're definitely some of my favorite. So I'm going to take and paint all the bats black. So that's what I'm doing. Just painting all my bats black. Um, I took the house, as you can see here, and I put it on a bunch of foam tape because I wanted it to be elevated from the rest of the group, of, you know, the rest of everything. I wanted it to be like popped up higher so that I could put either some, I was thinking maybe some moss behind it or, um, you know, I wanted it to be able to have things put behind it is what the object was. So I did that, got it popped up on three layers of foam tape. Now, here's where I made my mistake. I went and just started gluing my bats in. Instead of actually laying my scene out, um, I wish I hadn't done that because after I laid all my bats out here, then there were things I wanted to move around and I wasn't able to because I'd already glued my bats down. But that's okay, it works out and I still like it very much in the end. You guys, I'm sorry I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, so I'm just not feeling very well today. So um, then I take and I put, which I'm sorry I'm out of frame here. All I'm doing is taking those boos and I'm putting them at the top. Okay, so this, these are those Dollar Tree, um, I don't know what you want to call them. They look to me like spooky trees. So that's my whole point in them is that I want them to be spooky trees. So, um, and I wanted them, I wanted to put the black ones up, but the seam was looking so black that I thought, man, I need to add some color in here. So that's why I went ahead and went with the orange. Can you believe it's already June and we are doing June Halloween? I am so excited. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm trying to get it to where, you know, I know I don't have to worry about it falling off. So I'm going to put a little hot glue down there. Now, I know that I'm going to cover this, right? So I just wanted to make sure that it was stuck there so it didn't move. Okay, these are some ladders that I got from uh, Timu. I thought they were bigger. I thought I was going to make like those Hobby Lobby, you know, those long ladders that are really cute for tear trays. That's what I thought I was getting. <laughs> so... That's what I got. They're, I don't know, they're maybe an inch and a half wide, so that, you know, that wasn't going to work. So I thought, okay, let me make them into a, a gate, okay? So, and on the spider legs, again, it's so much black, I really just needed to add something else. So I was putting red on their legs, and on the gate, I put gray, and then I'm also going to, here in a minute, I'm going to daub some red all over it, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I just love this so much. I'm going to put it away in my Halloween bin so that I know where it's at for Halloween because I really cannot wait to put this out. 
This was so much fun crafting for Halloween. I just, it makes me so excited to know that we're not far from, you know, what, August will start fall, you know, September we'll be doing Halloween. It's like, we're really not that far away from all that. Okay, so... I'm going to get all my stuff glued down here, my little gates. I wanted to kind of make them um, wonky, you know, like, so it looks like the house is old and, you know, haunted and beat up. So that's why um, I'm trying to put them at a different angle and stuff. Now, I wish that I had some, like, little ghost because that would look so perfect in here. Now, I could have cut out some paper ghost, but I didn't know if that was going to look right. I guess... I could have, and then, it, you know, I could have just layered them probably five or six high, but um, I just needed other colors. So here I'm using these cotton balls as spider web. I'm going to put that in each corner, and I'm going to then put my spiders in there. I feel like with the the orange and the red, you know, I felt, and the white, you know, for the um, spider webs, I feel like it was giving me some color at least. And then of course at the top, I've got that glitter boo in the ghost. So, you know, it's, the scene is not looking as, um, as dark as it was in the beginning. Like everything was black. And I thought this doesn't even look very good at all with it just being all black. I really wanted some colors in it. Okay, you guys, there it is. I love it so much. Oh, it's so, it's just, it, yeah, it's spooky season. Well, not really, but <laughs> that's what it makes me feel like. There's the boo and the ghost I was telling you about with the purple glitter. Oh, I did put some red on the bat's wings, too, on the sides. Oh, my favorite stickers. I swear, I hope Dollar Tree has these stickers again because I love them. My little cotton balls. I hope that you guys like this as much as I do. It's it's definitely my... Well, I only made three DIYs, but it's, it's probably my favorite for sure. Okay, so let's move on to DIY number two. Now... This one, I wanted to make um, bookends because I have some of those Halloween books, which this coming Halloween, um, I'm going to actually spooky them up a little bit. But in this, all I did was make the bookends. So I'm, it took me forever to get the package open. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is ridiculous. I can't get the package open. <laughs> so, okay. So now I'm going to take, and that's my styrofoam um skeleton heads, right? And I was trying to measure how many of those um, tumbling tower blocks that I need to make it to where um, it would sit right, you know, because I needed the back, the head up, and then the chin down. So I painted them all black, got them all painted back, <laughs> got them all painted black. <laughs> oh, you guys, I hope I'm not getting sick again. I'm just... Um, today I'm resting and trying to just hope and pray that I don't get myself unhealthy again. Um, okay, so, um, yep, I'm just painting him like a dark gray. I'm trying not to do this great job because I end up taking some baby wipes too and trying to wipe some of it off. Um, after I get the gray, you know, I'm going to go in and with the teeth that I want to really, you know, kind of blacken them up with still not, I'm just trying to highlight them because I really want some of the gray to show in the teeth. I'm going to blacken the eyes and the nose. I also got out some uh, metallic gray paint to try to do some highlighting on it as well. The teeth is probably my favorite. <laughs> I feel like that's where I did the best job because they really look um, like just creepy, gooey yeah, teeth for sure on a skeleton. And then look, I put, 
I wasn't trying to give him eyebrows, but that's what I ended up doing was <laughs> giving him some some uh, really fine eyebrows. And I go in and I try to wipe that up a little bit because clearly I was not trying to give him <laughs> lady eyebrows. And that's what I felt like I did. <laughs> oh my goodness, I couldn't believe I did that. That was totally by mistake. So now I'm going to glue them down. Now, because the books aren't heavy, you know, they're just those hollow books, it's going to hold this just fine. And you'll see in a minute where I did take those baby wipes and, you know, try to get those brows off, not make it so, you know, because I just, we're just trying to highlight areas. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here's my skeleton bookends. I just love them. I think they're so creepy. You know, now looking at them, because this is what I always do. I always look at the project through the lens. I feel like I could have put some um, some spider webs on him, and I could have put some jewels on him. So, you know, maybe in the Halloween season, I'll, I'll try to add some more stuff to it. But I didn't even think of that until now when I'm looking at it. And I do like it better with the skeleton turned to the side which I found out when I was trying to, you know, do the video to show, you know, the work of them. Yep. Oh, it's so, I like them, like them, like them. I hope you guys like them too. Okay, so here's where I wanted to take another moment to talk about Juno Ween. Um, Annie is really good at, you know, doing these kind of videos and her channel has really blown up after years of hard work. I'm so happy for her. She's so talented and creative. I mean, you just can't get enough of her. When you're a fan, you've really got to check her out, you guys. And I'm sure all of you that are watching this video know exactly what I'm talking about. But her channel will be in the description box along with the playlist. So please make sure that you go check it out because I'm, I know I'm going to be watching. It's going to be some great DIYs. I just know it is. Some Halloween inspiration at its finest. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm already into this DIY. This is my, my final DIY. And I took some paper that had, like, skulls and a little bit of, you know, gold in it. And just, you know, uh, I want to say um, lab, you know, bottles, things like that. And I wanted to make it my background, okay? And then I just, so I didn't need to paint the whole pizza pan because, you know, it's not, you know, most of it's going to be covered. So I painted the edges. And now here's where I'm taking one of those Dollar Tree, um, what do you, wood pieces, wood cutouts, you know, at Halloween time. And I'm going to just really get in and paint it and decorate it and make it look really, really cute. Well, not cute, but... <laughs> spooky. I said cute. Um, so obviously I painted the bats black. I'm going in with this like a not as deep of a gray because I kind of wanted the house to be a little bit lighter. I wanted it to be, you know, not so deep um, against that paper. Plus I want to highlight it in um, black as well. So to kind of like make it stand out a little bit more. I'm just painting away. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing summer. Um, I know at work we're slow, so um, they've been giving a lot of uh, VTO, which is volunteer time off. So I've taken advantage of that because I got so sick in the beginning of the year that um, I used all my PTO and all of my PSL for the year. So, you know, it's been really hard for me to have any time off at all. Even when I don't feel well, you know, it, it's, it's hard to get time off. But, um, I mean, I was that sick that there was nothing I could do about it, right? So, thank goodness it was there for me. But um, now I'm just trying to, you know, stay as healthy as I can by not overdoing it. And I think I've kind of lately done that. So, today's the day that I'm going to stay in bed all day, watch YouTube, <laughs> and, you know, do my editing of my video. Okay, so as you can see, I got the whole back, the whole, um, the rounded, what do you want to call that? 
The edge is all red. I thought that looked really good. I liked that color. I thought it really made it pop. Um, here in a minute. Oh, let's see. Have I already done my highlights? I'm trying to see. I don't believe I have. You guys, I got to go to the eye doctor. Like, I cannot see well at all. Okay, I have not. So here in a minute, I'm going to show you where I'm going in to like the windows and the edges of the house. And I'm going to highlight it. Bring in a little bit of, um, you know, color so that it makes that whole house pop. There were some spots I went a little heavy handed um, and I didn't actually mean to, but in the end, I think it, it looks great. It turned out, you know, perfect. Um, and I'm definitely going to hang this up for Halloween. Okay, so I'm just taking some Mod Podge now. The reason I use Mod Podge rather than glue is because, first of all, it's metal and I didn't know if glue would hold. But the second reason I wasn't really caring if it got wrinkled, right? Because I did it's like Halloween so it can be wrinkled and you know all that I didn't care and as you can see some of the black paint wasn't all the way dry so it was kind of going across that paper and I thought that looked good as well so I was kind of happy that that accident happened and I kind of went with it a little bit more and just kept you know getting some black paint here and there um, the paper dried perfect with the Mod Podge. Like, it actually didn't wrinkle like I thought it was <laughs> going to. And even though I was okay with it, it didn't really wrinkle. So, but I like it. It looks good. And it's definitely, you know, perfect for Halloween, I feel like. I'll probably hang this in my kitchen or something this Halloween. <laughs> you know, because it's on a pizza pan. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here it is, all finished. This, oh, I love it so much. Okay, so this is the end of my video, you guys. As you're watching this, I just want to remind you how much you all mean to me. The comments, um, the thumbs up. I would so appreciate thumbs up. That really just helps YouTube notice me a little more. And, um, yeah, make sure you go to the playlist, check everyone out. If you're coming from someone else's channel to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for being here. It means a lot to me, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. You guys have a great weekend. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.